Work all night and I drink a rum. Daylight come and we want go. Stack banana till the morning come. Daylight come and we want go home. Come, Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. Daylight come and we want go home. Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56, and welcome to my kitchen. This is the first in a new series that I'm starting uh, that's uh, sort of a sub-series of my Crock-Pot Meals for Real Men that I'm calling Crock-Pot Desserts for Real Healthy Men. Uh, as some of you may or may not know, uh, I've begun my journey to fitness. I'm trying to eat healthier, uh, trying to exercise more, lose some weight and get in better shape and as part of that uh, I'm trying to come up with some healthier alternatives to some good desserts and um, later on I'll try to do some healthier alternatives to various crock pot main meals but uh, to start with this one is one that I just came up with. It's a healthier version of banana nut cake. Um, you, or you could call it banana nut bread. Uh, I think it's more like cake, so that's what I call it. Uh, I'll be using my uh, notes since uh, this is a new recipe I just came up with. Uh, the ingredients that you'll need for this are these. First of, first of all, you're going to need one mashed banana. And an overripe banana like this one is just about perfect. You're going to need some whey protein powder banana flavored. Two scoops. Now, um, these I got from the Vitamin Shop. This is their, their Body Tech brand. It's perfectly good, and um, so you can also you can, you don't have to get it in a whole big tub. You can get it like this in uh, the individual one serving packets. I've got two of them. Uh, so if you want to make this a lot, then or you like banana flavor, then you can get the big tub. You're going to need a half a cup. I'm sorry, one cup of almond flour or almond meal. I'm using this Bob's Red Mill. You're going to need about a half a cup of chopped walnuts. You're going to need a quarter cup or what what's about half of uh, one of these containers of vanilla Greek yogurt. Okay, you could use plain Greek yogurt. I like the vanilla. Now you can use whatever brand you want. You're going to be needing a, uh, let's see, what is this? Quarter cup of honey. Okay. Uh, I like to put in a dash of cinnamon. You're going to be needing two tablespoons of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You could use coconut milk but I'm using almond milk. You're going to need a two egg equivalent of the liquid egg whites. Uh, better than eggs, egg beaters, you know, whatever you want. Fresh eggs, that'll work too. You're going to be needing two teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. You're going to take all this stuff. Now, you're also going to on the honey, uh, you can substitute Splenda if, if you really want to cut down on the sugar and the carbs. Uh, but I like the flavor of honey. I think it works better in, in this type of a thing. And honey does have some health benefits. So that's why I'm using honey. And it's also something that I have in my food storage. So, you know, it's readily available. You're going to mix all this stuff up 
uh, in your mixer, in your mixing bowl, into a batter, and pour the batter into a pre-greased um, crock pot. And um, that's what we're going to do right now. And uh, once I've got the batter mixed up and ready to pour in the crock pot, we'll come right back. Okay, we've got all the ingredients mixed together into a batter, and uh, that's about what it should look like. And we're going to pour it into the crock pot here in a second, but first I wanted to mention something I forgot to mention when I was telling you the ingredients. One of the ingredients you're going to want uh, to put in it is one teaspoon of this imitation butter flavor. So, sorry about that. You know, when you get to be my age, you start to forget things. All right, now you want to uh, give a real good spray of your crock pot inside with the uh, Pam or equivalent. Now, even though you spray it good, you can just the nature of crock pots baking, you can expect that uh, the the outside and the bottom is going to be much browner. <laughs> than the rest of it and it may stick a little bit so just just be prepared for that it's just the nature of baking in a crock pot all right so we're going to pour our batter in here with all the mashed banana and walnut goodness try not to get it all over the outside of the crock pot like I just did. That's one of the problems with having shaky hands. Okay. Now let me get a paper towel and wipe off the excess. Hopefully it'll be a lot neater than I am. Put the cover on it, set it on low, and it'll take about one and a half to two hours, depending on your crock pot, to bake and be ready to take it out. Uh, you wanna come back in about one and a half hours to check it, and then after that, I would check it probably about every 15 minutes until you stick the the toothpick in the center and it comes out clean, then you know it's done. And, uh, we'll be back uh, when we get to that point. Okay, I do believe that it's done. I want to make a note that the cooking times that I give in these things are just a rough guide. Uh, with your crock pots, different crock pots, uh, variations in the batter, it might take less time, it might take more time for it to actually get done. As a case in point, uh, the first one of these that I made uh, last week to test the recipe uh, took two hours to get done. This one, for some reason, has taken three hours. So I recommend that uh, it one and a half to two hours is when you start checking it to see if it's done and then check it about every 15 minutes after that until it is done. And this one I believe is done. So we'll do the test with the toothpick. Yep, comes out clean. She's done. And I'm just going to take the knife here and, and just run it around the side to help loosen it up. And then I will dump this on the cooling rack and once it's cooled I'll come back and uh, we'll do a taste test. Okay, the cake has had time to cool down, and uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Smells pretty good, too. 
Uh, so I'm going to cut the cake into eight uh, equal uh, segments. And the reason I do that is uh, for one thing, at the at the end of the video, I'm going to have the nutritional information for the uh, the cake per slice based on eight slices, so you can you can get an idea of what it is. Now, you know, if you if you cut it into more slices or less slices, you can do the math and adjust the nutritional information accordingly. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm doing it based on eight slices. I think that's a good size slice for a snack. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this into the eight slices. Okay. And then we do this. Yeah, okay. All right, now it's time for the taste test. So, John, come on around. Pardon my fingers. <laughs> and that's what the cake looks like. There's yours. It's still slightly warm. And here is mine. So let's have a taste. Mm, nutty. Moist. Yeah. Very moist. Good banana flavor. Good taste. And it is very moist. Despite, it may not look as moist as it actually is. Just because it got a little brown. But I'm telling you, it's good. Cake. You would think that this was uh, the regular high calorie, high fat <laughs> you know, version, but uh, it's not. No, it's very now, one thing to keep in mind when you look at the nutritional information on this, it may seem like the fat content may seem a little high for the uh, slice. But keep in mind that a large portion of that fat is the good omega-3s and omega-6s from the walnuts, the almond flour, and the almond milk. Okay, so it's the good fat that you want. And uh, it's got a good amount of protein per slice. And as far as the sugar goes, just like I said at the beginning, I use honey because I like the flavor better. Um, and the sugar, you add sugar, but it does have some nutritional value to it. But you can cut down on the amount of sugar in it simply by replacing the honey with Splenda. Uh, so I hope that you enjoy this recipe. I'm going to try to come up with some more recipes uh, in the near future that are also healthier than what their regular uh, version might be and maybe even some original recipes so this is the uh, end of our first crock pot desserts for real healthy men hope that you enjoy it and this is spec ops 56 and John saying so long until next time. This will go great with a cup of coffee. Yeah. Wouldn't it ever? <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. Eat them up. Eat them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.